hello guys you're welcome to the channel today i want to touch on something very important that um, i have been getting questions on you know concerning the wooden warehouse okay so there is this wood let me show you let me show you you see can you identify this wood this is coconut Eh? this is coconut tree you know and as you can see we have used quite a number of them okay we have used quite a number of them with the frame okay so to speak with the with the frame the framework of the whole structure we used coconut tree coconut that is what we used and there have been questions on why we used that you know um, questions on why coconut I want to state that coconut as many of you may know already is very strong coconut the coconut tree is very strong actually sometimes the carpenters find it difficult to you know penetrate the nails through it so that is how can we use the coconut as you can see we've used quite a number of them for the whole framework for the whole framework it is coconut you know the side side because it's very because it is very strong the coconut tree is very very strong so as you can see it is coconut throughout you know the frame and then we use before we used other other woods for the um, for the for the rest okay the remaining part of the wood work we didn't use coconut because the coconut is very very hard you know and carpenters working with, on coconut for roofing is, is, is not acceptable they won't even mind okay, so we have to use the coconut and the second thing is that the coconut is um, it, it, it's, it's very difficult for animals to eat into it you know the mind because we had to you know put it deep into the soil if you use other woods you know um, with within no time you will realize that animals are eating into it but with the coconut tree animals are not able to eat into it so you can uh, put it deep in the soil and it will take a very long time I haven't, eaten, I haven't seen a coconut tree that has been destroyed as a result of being put in you know into deep into the soil maybe the only thing that i've seen destroying the coconut tree is fire you know fire is the only thing that i've seen destroying a coconut tree so you can see that is some of the coconut trees there we use quite a number of them yes i think we used a total of 25 trees yeah total of 25 trees so this the coconut tree is very durable and the third thing is that it's less expensive if you compare the price with other trees the coconut tree is very less expensive now, I don't know what goes into it maybe I'll find out and let you know later but it is less expensive the coconut tree is less expensive and it is the hardest among all the woods that we have used so far you know and it is very resistant to you know um, all these animals and mites termites that you know will damage any other wood in no time the coconut tree is able to resist all those you know issues okay so this is a quick one that i want to you know bring uh, to your attention you know if casted concrete you know on all of them as because um, it need to be firm it need to be very firm so we have to cast concrete on all of them that has been part that has been submitted in the soil okay as you can see between some here so as, you can, as you can see that's concrete work that has been done on it so consider it 
consider the use of coconut. I know um, a lot of you might know this already, but if you don't, yes, that is why we use the coconut tree. You know, and it's able to hold the, the warehouse so much so that we don't, we didn't even need to put any other tree in between, you know, to hold it. Okay. I think the carpenters also did a very great job. I don't know how they did this. <laughs> I'm not a carpenter. So I don't know how they did it, but you know, they, you know, they interlock the trees, um, the, the woods so much, you know, for it to be very strong and they are able to hold each other and hold the whole structure such that we, there is no need for any wood in between or any pillar in between to hold it firm or any anything of that sort. All these ones that you are seeing that are standing here, they will be removed. There were a lot of them, you know, to keep support of the, for, to keep support of it as they were roofing it. And as the roofing is done, all these will be removed. All these ones will be removed. As you can see, here, there were some here. There were some of them here. You know, there were some of them supporting this this ones too. Let me stand here so you can see it very well. There were some of them. Some of the you know two by four woods. Those are not coconut. Those are not coconut. I think those are mahogany or something like that. Mahogany is Cinderella, they have so many names of calling trees. I don't know where the names came from. So, but yes, they were all here, you know, all here were covered, you know, to keep support of it, just so that it will be there. Um, the roofing can be done. And after the roofing, everything has been removed. You no, know? it's just because these ones, these few ones that you're seeing are just because um, we haven't you know done the board work for this side you know when the board work is done or when we are doing it we just remove it this one is it is no support you know? it's nothing holding it it's just something small it's just something very very small so that is it consider coconut trees when you're doing a, a project like this or any wood within structure consider coconut trees okay so this is what i have for you today I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Please subscribe. Thank you.